hey guys it's judy and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome thank you for joining me today today we are doing something very spooky i think this is possibly one of the spookiest things that we're gonna do tonight we are on cielo drive and right behind me is sharon tate's old house and if you know Sharon Tate, she was an actress back in the 60s. She was a, a newcomer. And this is where she was brutally murdered by Charles Manson's family on August 9th, 1969. So on August 8th, 1969, Sharon Tate was with her friends. She was about eight and a half months pregnant, almost to deliver this baby. They went to her favorite restaurant, which is Coyote, El Coyote, I think, out down in Hollywood. So I didn't, I don't think they got back into the house until 10, 30, 11 p.m. at night. And that is when early mornings of August 9th is when Charles Manson and his cult broke into this house. They broke down one of the um, telephone poles and they sneaked in and brutally murdered everybody in the house, including Sharon Tate, who was eight months eight and a half months pregnant this property was demolished in the 90s i believe um and the person who lives here now is jeff franklin he is the producer of full house so he demol he brought the property demolished it and there's a big mansion now that we can't see from this side unfortunately um but this is where he lives now so there's a gate this gate is not the original gate from sharon tate her, her original gate was a little bit further more in his is more out over here but this is where it happened and we are here for an event by spooks and spirits so they are having a media night tonight there is about maybe two to three houses down this street here where there's a lot of paranormal ghost activity and we are here for that and uh what they say is that this house is haunted because it might involve the spirits of the murders here at this house in 1969. So we're gonna go ahead and walk into this house. It's called the Omen House. It's very popular. If you Google it or YouTube, you might see a lot of things. And that's what we're here for. So if you guys are ready, let's get spooky. All right, we made it to the Omen House at 7.45 and we're gonna go ahead and, and check in. Side of the omen house and we're just waiting for a few more people to arrive but this is the living room and look they have a photo of sharon tate paying homage to her and i believe this is a clip of the movie that they have about this house <laughs> since I started building here, we've had nothing but strange, strange things happen. During construction, about six months before we were done, I assembled all of my labors. I said to him, I said, tell me, have you guys had any weird experiences in the house during construction? And one of the guys said, yeah, I'm working on the third level, and I heard voices and footsteps coming down the staircase. If a personal belief that this place is haunted is based upon the experience I had a year ago in the summer, I woke up in the middle of the night, and I looked to the left of my bed, and I saw a gentleman, let's just say a full-bodied person standing there, and he was just staring off into space and pointing with his left arm extended and pointing towards the driveway. I found out later on that the person who I saw, the spirit that I saw, was in fact Jay Sebring, one of the murder victims from the infamous night in 1969 at the hands of Charles Manson and his followers. Fell down with a railroad spike because they got knocked over so much. Um, 
but like I said, they get knocked over. As far as the drama you just saw about the dark energies, don't buy his hyperdrama, hyperbolic <laughs> drama. That's not accurate. The energies are dark because he's a piece of trash, and, <laughs> and, he, and, and spirits don't like people that are disrespectful towards the spirits. And when they came here, they didn't. Sh this show was shot over four days. First day was interviews with me. Second day was interviews with other people. Third day was B-roll, and the fourth day was the lockdown. Zach didn't show up to the actual lockdown. And when they did, I said, Zach, do you guys want to come by to Marks and do you want a very tight schedule? I've already heard from your executive producer and your producer not to bother you. I said, so why don't you guys come over tomorrow night with barbecue and we'll talk. His exact words were, no, I can't. I've got a chick flying in from out of town. <laughs> <laughs> That's how serious he is about the paranormal, honestly. But the point is, is that his experience that he had here was because he's collected a lot of bad karma to the spirit world and he got hit over the head because this house he didn't expect it to be what it was it's not haunted per se it's more like a god it's a ghost flop house what i mean <laughs> is, is that spirits according to lisa williams and mary Ann winkowski the real life ghost whisperer there's a revolving door at the front door and spirits come in and they come out i mean just thousands of spirits that's why mary Ann winkowski said i could clear the house up david but Ten minutes, those that I got rid of, there'd be another one taking their place. So there's just a lot of activity. My boss was here and he was like standing there and he says, I, 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 I saw that thing launch at me and I was standing right where you are and I saw it go midway through the air. I'm going, what the, huh? And when I looked at the, my watch, it says 1220. I said, what the hell? And I heard a voice say, this is the time my body and soul separated. Sharon. It was amazing. Wow. And that was like I said, literally like I said, flew 10 feet and landed there and then the head dropped off. She heard it, yeah. Like I said, I'll be happy to rock it, but Steve wants to go on with the show, so we're going to go on with the show. We'll watch it later on at 8.50. You'll watch the thing get knocked over on its own. Don't your nose, you might really do some damage. God, it might fall in. I am, yeah. I'm okay so far, but you can feel the energy just become a little bit different as you keep going down. I don't know how you keep going up and down. <laughs> Welcome to the sounds chamber. Number five. We did a seance right now. We're not able to record, but we're like in the third, looks like a third floor, right? Like yeah. we're at the very bottom. So this is like the seance room and then there's like a little basement. So we're gonna go ahead and go back up. Gonna be very careful. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the Omen house. This is the front door. Here I am. We have the kitchen here. It is currently almost 11, like 10.45, 10.50 p.m. at night. There's still all the people here that were invited tonight. This is like the dining room. 
We have a bathroom here. I want to show you guys some pictures from the bathroom because, like I said, Sharon Tate's house was three houses from here. So David Omen has a lot of photos here of Sharon Tate's movies. So he really does honor her here at this house. Really cool. She was only 26 when she got murdered. So she was a newcomer. She was about to blow up. Back in the day, they said that she was maybe the next Marilyn Monroe. So here we have the living room. There's a picture of her over there. Um, and then over here on this side, it's another photo of her here. Okay, so this... How do I explain this? So he has these little figurines here of like Beetlejuice and like the shining twins he has a camera right here this is a camera that's facing the figures so these tend to fall all the time so he has a recorder here documenting every time they fall off and if you knock on this they don't fall at all like they're sturdy so he has activity in this room it's kind of like another extra living room situation here with another balcony overlooking all the hills it's another picture of Sharon Tate there all right and in this since we're on the hillside so we walk in through here and then that's that um second level down is like additional bedrooms the master bedroom and then the bottom room the third bottom floor is where we have the seance so yeah that's the omen house so all right so welcome to the omen house ladies we are about to take the omen tour with david on them through the omen house <laughs> Yes, we're going to turn the lights on so you can see. We don't want to be trip and fall. Spirits, I got company. I want you guys to be uh, amenable to their presentation, to their presence. This, of course, is the Doors hallway. There's a lot of this. Is all original posters from 1967, 68, and 69. Those are some PR post photos. Uh, is anybody feeling anything going down the hallway here? Getting a little bit cold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> here, let's try this. One person at a time, step on the landing, and start walking slowly down to that end of the hallway. Okay, I'll do it. All right, you go first. Yeah. And just tell me what you're feeling as you're walking down, if you're feeling anything. Okay. I got an idea. Now you want to hear the voices kick. What are you, are you feeling anything at all? Nothing. Okay. Now try walking down, walk to the other end of the hallway and let's see what's different. anything different on that side ah uh, I kind of felt something in my throat for a minute but I feel like I was walking like almost up a hill and this is completely level there's nothing yeah. this this is completely level let me ask you a question do you feel anything else as far as your equilibrium like anything sensation like you're not feeling like you're balanced when you're walking on this one way so to speak I feel like something a little bit on my chest. Pressure. Like, yeah, like almost like pressure, pressure, kind of like a tingle feel. Um, and then just looking at you from here, I'm starting, I don't know if I'm just thinking about it, but I feel like 
I'm a little bit slanted now. Like, like you feel like you're walking back and forth in a boat by any chance. Oh, now that you mentioned that, yes, but I almost feel like I was leaning more towards one side, maybe more to my right. So, so you're feeling like you're almost like feeling like I gotta like compensate by yeah. the end of this. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. That's that's normal. Yeah. But it's, no, what's me interesting is, is when you take the step down to this level, mm -hmm. if you feel anything different. That's what I'm gonna see. Now, do you notice a change in the energy from when you're on that walk runway versus when you're on this? Yeah. Isn't that strange? It feels different, yeah. That's been the way it's been for 22 years since I, since I started living here. There's I, something funny. I feel like here, um, um, I'm comfortable, right? And I feel a little awkward. Like here, you feel like a little hallway. out of bounds. I don't know if it's just because of uh, it's a hallway and it's a little bit hollow, but it feels different being here compared to this side. No, it's I I, yeah. I definitely know that feeling, and mm -hmm. that's that's yeah, that's it's there, it's present right mm -hmm. now on this runway for some reason. Who wants to go between the two of you? Who wants to go next? <laughs> you, <don't want> <laughs> you are gonna walk that I hope, right? You're going to. I felt rocking right here. Like I felt like I was rocking. Like back and forth, right? right? Yeah. But like like I didn't feel anything, I didn't feel anything, and then as I like stepped into here, I was like, you oh the spot. That felt off. Right. That did not feel there's right. No, there's no explanation for why this is the way it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's leveled, right? Oh yeah, it's completely level and yeah. it's literally just a frame built on top of the concrete mm -hmm. draping that runs the width of the house. Yeah. Like, you could even, like, you I don't know if you guys heard, but I lost my balance a little bit right, right here. Like, like slightly, and right. then I was like, okay. So, yeah, this is weird. And then you take your step down, it all just disappears. Mm -hmm. For no reason. Yeah, it really does. There's no strange, there's the strangest thing. It's, don't know why. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and I've had people, I put people with barn clothes and said, walk down the hallway now. Because he said it does. I said no. There's no optical illusion. It actually does narrow for about two inches from this side. It's two inches wider than that side. Because when we made the house, you have to make it make the thing square. So of course you're going to have to adjust it at this place because you can. And like I said, even the visual cortex, when you deprive your visual cortex and you walk on it, and you still feel that rocking sensation, there's nothing to do with an optical illusion. Huh. That's why it's, it's there. It's, and like I said, we've had people walk one side and it's hot and then they walk to the other side and it's not. A couple of hours later, they walk to the sat side and it's like, oh, it's not. And they walk this side. Oh, it's on this side now. It's shifted. <laughs> it just happens to be that way. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get out of here. I'm, getting, I'm just had my foot on that. Gosh, my thing is getting me a headache. It's that the energy is just like very, very tough. Ah. Uh, Welcome to my world. <laughs> it's intense on that landing. Yeah, I, I, again, I just had my foot on that thing. It's just like, it's like something like pushing in your temple, squeezing. All right, let's go downstairs to the third level. How are you feeling, by the way? Did you uh, did you feel anything when you really, so you, you felt yet to, what did you feel in that in the laundry room just now? Where we were? Yeah. Uh, well, when I was there earlier, there's definite difference between the walkway and where the laundry machine is. Oh, there's yeah. a huge difference in No, it's not the reason for it, though. That's the strangest part. It doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah. There's nothing there. There's no, Like I said, my father's too, was too... Spend, sorry, Dad. Spendthrift. Is that better? Okay. <laughs> in building the house. I mean, my dad wasn't going to spend extra money to put in plates, steel plates in the walls to then add it to a DC generator to create that kind of magnetic field that people describe in here. And people said, oh yes, like, you don't know my father. If you want to see the underside of the house, I can show you the framing. It's straight on just wood frames. There's nothing special. Believe you me, it's not the way my dad would build a house. Are you guys feeling anything? A little nauseous, quite honestly. No, that's okay. That's yeah. that's that's a feeling. There's energy here because I'm feeling it, and it's just it's not like it was earlier. It feels a little bit different than when you guys were here for the seance and all. I don't know. I'm not getting exactly like happy-go-lucky vibes. I'm getting this kind of like distraught. I don't want to say malevolent, but just not happy. Like mm. you did this in our space. How dare you? There's mm. a resentment almost. 
There's nothing I can say to make them dis despair their displace their their displeasure. But boy, it's the fuck? this is here. Why is this here? No wonder they said they moved this. They turned this off. Yes, they did. There, there, that's thank. I got all right. I heard you. I knew that. They said when we was looking at the camera, but they said, where the hell is the goddamn keyboard? Why is the keyboard not there? And how come the keyboard's not turned on? And the keyboard's off to the side and turned off. This is the toy that Gwendolyn plays. This was left here during the Poltergeist DVD Blu-ray release party here at the house. They turned that room into Carol Ann's room. Mm. Literally took all the furniture out. They put in a single a little kid's bed in there. They brought in a four-foot stuffed teddy bear. They brought this in there. They brought in a coffee table, a little tea set, and a, coffee, a little tea table. And this was on top of it. During the night of the event, people were coming up to, to me and saying, that, that keyboard, he played a single note in front of me. And I, 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 I said, I, I, I don't know anything about the keyboard. They just left it, brought this here for the set, for the dress setting of the room. And we've left it ever, had it ever since. Because I said, whatever it is, the spirit, the little girl's spirit loves this, so leave this here. And they left it here, and it's been here like 10, 12 years later. And it's, it, Who is Gwendolyn? So it's the name of the little girl's spirit that we've recorded here at the house. And I mean, we've heard her voice, literally, like, not on a, on a spirit box. Right, right, right. Jimmy Oster was here for the, for the DVD Blu-ray release of the event, and he was doing the pre-event. And he was in the room saying, I've been to David's house many times, and strange things have happened here. And out of the blue, you hear this little girl's voice say, here's one. And it was just me. Jimmy, his videographer, and his still photographer, and that was it. And we were all above the age of 30 years old, and we're all men. And then earlier in the evening, he was doing a video in there, and you hear in the background a little girl's laugh to go, ha, ha, ha. And I'm like, what the hell was that? And we're not talking about on a spirit box. We're talking just actual voices. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's what people do. I bring your Frank's back. says, why? The spirits can talk to you as clear as a bell when they want to. And... Your recordings can capture them, and you'll listen on the beep view, and you go, who, who, who is that talking in the background? That's how they operate. And sometimes you can, you can actually hear them, and you go, I heard something. Then you review the footage, and sure enough, you heard something is right, and they were there. So let's go into the earth and wall room here to check out what's going on in this room. so you guys can sit down. Oh, great, so they brought some... Oh, are you kidding me? No, this is supposed to go up here, isn't it? This is, this is for the honorarium for the Native American whose remains are supposedly interred in this mound of earth here. Mm -hmm. I actually saw your video on Grim Life. Oh, really? Yeah, so I spoke I, to Michael. I, I just spoke yeah. to him yesterday. I asked him to come up. He's too busy. Uh, it was the too. keyboard, right? Yeah. Yeah, I heard it too. Yeah, that's Gwen. So Thanks, I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, I heard it too. Oh, yeah. Heard that's it. Gwendolyn. Yeah. She's happy. She says, thank you. And I know I'm sorry. I didn't ask him to turn it off, Gwen. Thank you, Gwendolyn. Yeah, that's the, the story of this room is just crazy. We've had a bottle of wine come out of the rack on its own. The, two, the piece of wood that's there, that butcher block spun off a television set and onto the ground oh, wow. on video, on that camera. My friend was like, it was the best experience of my life. I said, really? He goes, yeah, I got proof that there's actually, <laughs> son of a, <laughs> there's real paranormal activity. That was the walkie talkie just turned itself. I didn't even touch it. So yeah, this room's had a, lar a lot of history to the activity in this place. What is all of that? All of that is originally when the, the earth was down to here, we had a little small altar to the Native American who supposedly whose remains were left in this earth. Lisa Williams, the famous English psychic, came here after I was on Ghost Hunters and came and she goes, oh, do you know you got, you, there's a Native American on horseback whose remains, whose horse and remains, his remains are interred in this mound of earth. I'm like, one, I, I can't see anything. And she went on to tell me the story that he was walking with his horse on the horse path, which is now the driveway. Horse lost its footing and went, slipped, fell down the slope of the hill 
both the horse and the rider broke their necks and they were stopped by a tree. Well, I don't know if you can see up there in the corner right there, but there's a large mm -hmm. two foot diameter tree stump and there was a tree there when we built the house. And basically she said that his remains were left on the earth with the horses and through the years they were covered by the mudslides, which we have, after we excavated this out, you can see the layers of earth and mud that have basically come down the hillside. So we basically put this here as a little altar to the Native American. And then people started giving, putting dollar bills there. I'm like, going, this isn't a strip club. What do you think you're going to get for your dollar? And so people have left ours. So we just, you know, let people, you know, donate and offer, give offerings to the Native Americans. So we've got a seashell. We've got a, uh, there's some sage. There's some wheatgrass. There's a raven's feather. There's a deer bone in there. Mm. That we're all found in the neighborhood, so that's what oh, that's all about. Very mm. cool. Now, what do you guys feel as you're standing here in this Super room? dizzy. Really? Yes. Do me a favor. Take a step here. I need to move this out. Try to sit on that and see if that changes your, your sit on energy. It? No, you sit, but I was going to say, I wanted to see if the energy is different for you there versus there, because this is right in the earth. Mm -hmm. That's literally built on the slope of the hill so the hill's going down below that so that's literally in the air as, as a matter of fact if you see the hole there the, if you took a stick a, a stick and you put it down you'd be about five feet above the ground at that point. Oh, wow. oh wow so this is like i said we're on the slope of the hill mm -hmm. how do you feel now more grounded because they said because have her, they said because have her sit on the i said what do you mean because the ground the ground she'll feel better if she's not in that in that uh, area where it's no, floating. No, I was feeling super dizzy right there. Right. Yeah. Okay. But it's, again, it's, 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 again, and right it's now crazy. you're feeling this now. Meaning, if you come back tomorrow, it new. might be different. You might right. feel because I've been in here; it's been totally neutral. I've been mm -hmm. in here, and it's been like you just feel like pressure, like you and in your chest. Somebody just fly by me, or was it my imagination? No, it's not your imagination. Oh, that's a spirit. Okay. It wasn't. It wasn't a bug. There are no bugs. Oh, okay. In here. Well, that's what I thought it was. Yeah, okay. but that wasn't a bug. That's if you felt that, that was somebody's energies. Mm -hmm. Literally, I just heard it's like we just put her hand right over her sh head like that, right across oh, your forehead. Okay. I thought it was. You thought it was a just, bug. Well, I just saw something out of the corner of my eyes. So yeah, I that's the spirit. Because like, oh. I would have uh -huh. seen it, and I right now I don't think there are any yeah, bugs I mean, I don't running. See any bugs no, I didn't see any bugs either. Uh -uh. And we've had video where people have been sitting there and we heard an, a, a rock come off the thing and hit the ground. And I watched the goddamn video on a 50-inch television. I'm going, I don't see any goddamn rock, but I can hear the rock being thrown wow. and hit the ground right there. Mm. Strange stuff that just happens when you go, did I really, did that really, or is it my imagination? It's like, it's not your imagination. You're just being, thank you, spirits. He said messed with. <laughs> and not it's almost like the spirits want to um, accommodate you because you have respect, you have curiosity, you have genuine curiosity. It's not like you're going to like exploit them to some level and make, make hay out of it, but you're sincerely curious. And because of that, it they want to accommodate you and want to... Um, they want to let, afford you the opportunity to actually get feel and experience what you're looking to feel and experience. What are you feeling now? <laughs> going for a ride. Where are we going? <laughs> that was a little crazy. It was just like you felt that, huh? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> they're here. They're, see, they, I don't know where they we're said going you're there. very, you're very receptive to the energies. That's why they're. <laughs> they said they feel comfortable that you feel comfortable with their presence. You're not offended. You're not afraid. But you're no. curious, which is something that again, if you're, if you're like this, stop that. If you're like panic stricken, they're like, well, you know, saying we're not going to be around you because you're having a meltdown and we don't right. really feel like we need to be behave in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable. That's why I said the people that don't feel comfortable, it's more to do with their perception and their personal religious beliefs in a lot of cases. Mm -hmm. They just said it has a lot to do with how you're brought up and you're brought up and this is sinful. And I go, oh, yeah, that's terrific, man. You're, you're going to decry everything as, as evil because you don't understand it. That's not an excuse. That's just your personal belief system that needs to be readjusted. It's funny that you say that because my camera's heating up. Yeah, <laughs> that's. The, that, that, yeah. Just, I, it's it's why, I, I don't know if you noticed, but I keep going like this right yeah, now because it's I like just heard it's that. warm. The spirit said because yeah, your camera's being used. Yeah. And they're draining your battery. And what about your battery? Mine was at eighty-eight, and What's I started it? at hundred. So that's I'm, normal. I'm okay. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. The, the weird thing quick. about mine is. 
it tells me I have five minutes left of yeah. memory card storage. And for what I recorded, I should have a lot more than that. That's the spirits messing yeah. with you. And what happens, and by the way, make sure when you before you leave, watch your video to make sure your video is good. And mm -hmm. if you can upload it to the cloud, upload it to the cloud. Because, <laughs> no, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why you got to save it. Because I had four executive producers from, or segment producers from Dr. Phil's house, from Dr. Phil's show. And Dr. Phil's mm -hmm. house is literally right up the, you can see it mm -hmm. from on the balcony. And they were here shooting, all four of them separate cameras. One goes, goes, oh, we're leaving. I said, let me change the foot. Uh, it's, 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 the, the, the videos are shot. gone. One. <laughs> not one, not two. All four of them. Oh. Wow. Wiped the goddamn camera memory clean. Very mischievous. They went to go to Dr. <laughs> Phil when they went back to the studios. They told the IT guy that works for Dr. Phil, and they told him what happened. And he says, that's not possible. He goes, you have four separate cameras. They're not even interlinked. They're individuals' cameras. He goes, that's not possible. And luckily, the cameras were working. I have the video footage of it on my cameras. But there was stuff happening when they were walking through the house, and they're like, oh, my God, this is crazy. And it's like, I can't believe we got it on <laughs> the damn thing. Because they were going to show Dr. Phil, and Dr. and Phil said, we can't have him on the show because there's not enough controversy. Where's the conflict? And I said, get Zach Baggins on and <laughs> have me come on the show as a, as a, as a unknown guest. As a surprise guest, you'll have fireworks to beat the band. It never happened, of course, because I got earphones in so she That's can't hear. Happened. And she's got an eye thing, so she's told. She said she heard, she felt a knocking. She couldn't hear or see us. Yeah. You know what? That's, that is scary. That just gives me a heart attack because she experienced. Yeah. You're serious? Shit. <laughs> did any of we weren't even trying to do that. I didn't even know. You do? Oh, I don't know. I'm just Oh, no, 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 no. It's just really cold in here. If, yeah. if you don't shut the door, it can't lock. But it's, it's, it's the choice. Like, 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 yeah, this can't. Energy was staring from the I was taking a shot. I went to the window, the mirror, and I was looking. I kept on being eyes looking up. And I said, I see a pair of eyes from the bed. Because I went to I see a haunting like this really looking man looking down. That's creepy. Oh yeah, that shit crazy. To be honest with you. To me, that's... No, that's, that's creepy. creepy. It is yeah. creepy. Yeah, that's, that's like beyond what I want to experience. No, of course, of course it is. It's, there's something yeah. in this room, though. I seriously didn't know. Like I said, the other side of the wall. No, that's okay. okay. I sleep easily. I was like... Because I had it, so during that portion, I'm like, for a whole day, I don't have to go to the bathroom. And, um... Oh, God, it's... All right, I'm getting really, 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 really cold. Like, all of a sudden, like, it's freezing, like, ice. Are you guys feeling it at all? No? And you're in shorts. What about you? No? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I just shut the gosh darn window, so that shouldn't be the case at all. I get, I, get, it, I, can, I can feel the temperature shift, but um, I'm used to cold, so. Yeah, well, it's, it's, no, it feels unbearably cold, like, like ice. Sorry. Oh, God. Yeah, my arms, are, the hairs of my arms are standing up straight, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're feeling, are you feeling it? Uh, and, and not to that extreme, not I am. But you're feeling it like I'm feeling it, like it's just up, and, yeah, like an ice cube running up and down the back of my spine, like, like right here, like up and down, like, ooh, ooh, God, like this room is just no All right, I, I gotta get out of here. This is just too much for me. <laughs> We came to the patio because we wanted to talk about our experience because we're not allowed to record but I know it's pitch black out here but we are in like Beverly Hills and uh, we were told that this house let me see if I can zoom in a little this house right here belongs to um, Dr. Phil and then this house around here is did he say Ariana Grande? I think he said Ar Ariana Grande and uh, yeah, we're just gonna talk about our experience really quick. So we have, you know, my my partner in crime here, Jennifer. And so we did a, the seance, it was about like an hour maybe? Yeah, like an hour. Yeah, so it reminded me a lot of the 57 ghost seance. So they used um, the little bell to communicate or to, to come and play with us and then the, um, the coin, there was a bunch of coin, but there was only one silver coin in the bag. Um, 
What else did? What else? Yeah, Something else was similar. The obsidian plate. The yes. Uh huh. That was. So um, with Jennifer, she had some interesting things happen to her. I think. Yeah. Um, one of them was we all had to light a candle, and then hers just randomly like pff, turned off. Yeah. So. Did you feel anything? Since I feel like you were one of the people that had, like, I don't know. I feel like even the the part where we had a turn or like, um, what was that thing called? Uh, it, like it's like a little. Uh, it looked like a pendulum. Yeah, just like a little. Yeah, but I think he said it was made out of like eyes or or eye, oh, eyeballs. Uh, they were the coins that are made out of. They're, they're one huge object that was made out of the coins that they put on the eyes of Dick. Yes, there you go. That's what it was. They just put it all together and yeah. made it one object. So he had to turn turn it counterclockwise on top of this like wood little plate. And uh, I, t I was the first one on the table that did it. Mine turned fully. But then when it got to Jennifer, I think she was the first one. And when she turned it, it ended up kind of stopping and then going counter no reverse counterclockwise yeah <laughs> and then after that everybody started doing the same thing but then the candle thing happened to you and then you had a few words from the book happen to you yeah. and then the message the cards. message yeah so explain a little bit just in small detail like if you felt anything if anything like that so i think the first major thing is when he said to light your fire light mm -hmm. your candle um, the first thing that I noticed is uh, the flame. Like, okay, here's a little background. I'm gonna tell you. Judy. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to play with flames. Like, so I would light a little candle, mm -hmm. and I would mentally, like, I would like try to direct the flame. I, I would do that. I remember doing that. So when we lit it, I started like thinking about it, and then I started seeing the flame rise and then go lower. And I was like, Nah, tripping. Mm -hmm. But then when I asked that question, when, when I asked the question to the ghost, Are you a child or an adult? And then we started saying child. It literally, yes. I started to see my flame go like this. Oh my gosh! So and you saw went, the flame. I saw okay. the flame like I knew it was going out because mm -hmm. it started doing like and I was like oh it's gonna go out and then it went Shh. and it was my turn to ask the question and when it went out when it was my turn that's significant it wasn't like mm -hmm. just my flame just went out it went out when I asked the question yeah. so that was kind of creepy that was um, yeah that was very interesting and when I turned the pendulum mine went so smooth but fast and it wasn't shaky it was just like mm -hmm. it almost seemed I don't know Cool. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it was. I think I felt that like I might have a little bit of witchiness in there. So. Yeah, I believe too. <laughs> so nothing that I did kind of was weird. Um, I was very nervous to come to this house because I had seen previous YouTube videos and you know articles online. But uh, when I got here, I felt really like relaxed. And then before the seance, I was nervous again because I try not to like put myself in those situations you know it's always scary because you don't know if you're going to take something home with you or you know what i mean open these portals but uh once it started i felt okay like i wasn't shaking or nothing but all the activities that we did nothing i, I didn't feel anything like everything was fine with me and jennifer had a few activities or like um results but i i was always okay but i want to do mention i want to mention that there was some dolls placed um so i was sitting like towards the head of the table there was a, a doll right behind me and then another doll like across from me and for the first time ever i saw their heads moving like back and forth back and forth so when we did the seance at the queen mary there was a doll up against the wall and when we started the seance at the queen mary it was just facing straight the doll was sitting on a shelf um, and then when we finished the seance, when we were walking out, we noticed that the head was facing like one direction, but we never saw it move, right? We just got up and said, oh my God, oh my God, like it happened, right? Today, tonight, I witnessed it with my own eyes. This doll go like this multiple times, the one across from me. The one in back of me, I heard it like... And so it made me turn and I'm like, it's moving again. And it's just like constant. And they're sitting on like uh like on i think it was like a suitcase or something 
but they were I literally saw that a few times today so they were going like this and we were talking about dolls that like look like porcelain almost maybe from like the 50s or 60s but I saw that tonight so I witnessed something tonight I am a believer um, and that's all I'm gonna say but it was a very interesting night so thank you to spooks and spirits so if it's something that you want to do I'm gonna put their information here and you guys can check their website and uh, check out uh, any additional days for this event it's coming uh, well, this is like a media night, but they're having the real seance with like general public on Friday, April 12th, and then they added Saturday, April 13th. So I'll put the information if you guys are interested. All right, we are done with the Almond House.